Edgar Allan Poe, Poetry and Tales. The Conqueror Worm. Lo, tis a gala night within the lonesome latter years, an angel throng be winged midnight, in veils and drowned in tears. Sit in a theater to see a play of hope and fears, while the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the spheres. Minds in the form of God on high, mutter and mumble low, and hither and thither fly. Mere puppets they who come and go at the bidding of vast formless things that shift the scenery to and fro, flapping from out their condor wings invisible woe. That motley drama, oh, be sure, it shall not be forgot with its phantom chased forevermore by a crowd that sees it not through a circle that ever returneth into that self-same spot and much of madness and more of sin, the horror, the soul of the plot. But see amid the mimic rout, a crawling sheep intrude, a blood red thing that withers from out the scenic solitude. It writhes, it writhes with mortal pangs. The minds become its food, the seraphs sob at vermin fangs, in human gore imbued. Out, out are the lights, out all, and over each quivering form, the curtain, a funeral pall, comes down with the rush of a storm. While the angels, all pallid and wan, uprising, unveiling, affirm that the play is the tragedy, man, and its hero, the conqueror, worm.